like you could surf on my head. They're big waves. It definitely is a lot more work. So I would caution anyone considering to cut their bangs because that whole get up and go and get ready does not exist anymore. I have wavy hair, so if I shower, it turns into like, quite literally, like a wave. Like you could surf on my head. They're big waves. I have pretty wavy curly hair. In high school, I didn't know what to do with it, and so straightening it was what we all did, all my girlfriends and I, but we weren't allowed to straighten our hair, but that did not stop my friends and I. I would grab my mom's iron, like clothing iron, and we put a towel down on the counter, we put our heads down like this and lay our hair on top, and then we would iron our hair with a clothing iron. And of course, because like there's a part of your head that can't reach, so there'd be, always be like a line right here. So it'd be like frizzy from here up, and then super pin straight. Honestly, um, pajamas. Almost every single time I go to Julianne's house, we have a long night, watch movies, I spill something inevitably on whatever I'm wearing, so I typically steal her pajamas or onesies, and we drink wine and watch movies and just hang out. As a kid, I had really, really full, big brows, <clears throat> unibrow, uh, that I learned to pluck my thick, big brows, <clears throat> unibrow. Uh, at an early age, and as a result, learned a few things and, and sometimes tweezed my friend's brows too. The first thing that I purchased when I started making a little bit more money was a Chanel purse when I was in Paris, and I just felt a little special and magical. The one thing that I'm very excited to tell you guys about is a workout that I designed with Reebok and Les Mills. It's called Like Nina, but it's really tough, really challenging, but really fun at the same time, and it will change your body. I hope you guys like it.